So we're keeping our focus on what the conclusion of the special counsel investigation could mean with Amy Jeffra. She is a former federal prosecutor who also served as counselor to the attorney general for national security. And John Carlin, he served for several years as the assistant attorney general for national security in the Obama administration. Hello again to both of you. Thank you for being here. Uh, John Carlin, to you first. I mean, we're talking a lot about something that we don't know. We don't have any idea yet what's in this report. We hope to learn in, in, the, in the coming days. But at this point, knowing that it's has been described as a comprehensive report, knowing that there are not going to be any further indictments, what do you expect to learn? Well, first, let's take a step back and think about what we know already, which is this has been a historic investigation in terms of its speed, scope, and results. We have 34 individuals and three corporations indicted, 199 counts. We know in terms of the scope of the activity that there's been an unprecedented attempt by a foreign power to interfere with our fundamental rights uh, in our democracy and that that involved millions and millions of dollars being funneled here. We know that key figures, campaign manager, the national security adv advisor, were committing felonies and lying about contacts with Russians. And there is much work to be done to ensure our security going forward. So it, it, given that, Amy Jeffers, a lot has already come out. But this is, we don't know how many pages, we don't know the, the scope of this, but we assume there's going to be a lot more detail here uh, about everything potentially from uh, alleged obstruction of justice, contacts with Russians. So we're going to get a much fuller picture, do you expect, of what's been, of what happened? I do expect that. I know many of the people on the team, and of course, John and I both know Director Mueller very well from our prior uh, experience, and he is absolutely professional and thorough, and I know that this team has been working hard for two years, and so I expect that this report will contain more information. And John is right that there's already been tremendous results in terms of just a two-year investigation. Most special counsel investigations have lasted far longer. So what they've produced in two years is very uh, significant and substantial. But but I think that there's going to be more in the report. And I expect that uh, because uh, there's more to say and there's uh, pr probably evidence that they're going to describe that has not become public. Uh, and also, I just read that the president is taking his attorneys to Mar-a-Lago this weekend, and I think they're already there, and I don't think they're there for the weather only. So I expect I, that they're expecting that there will be some substance to this. I would doubt it. John Carlin, how significant that we already are told from what uh, the attorney general said today that we're not only going to find out uh, the decision making on who was prosecuted and and we're going to find out who's not being prosecuted um, it, What kind of information could that be? I mean, what are, what are we talking about there? You know, so it's unclear what will be made public But this report could contain a roadmap of referrals to other offices when you look at what's happened to date whether it's the Michael Cohen uh, prosecution the prosecution in the Eastern District of Virginia of Russian, the same type of Russian meddling efforts in the 2018 election. That was because of a referral not handled by the special counsel. And the investigations of the inaugural uh, events and the Trump organization, those are all continuing and not part of the special counsel investigation. There may be other charges that are referred for follow-up. And, and uh, Amy Jeffress, when, when, we, when we see that, that Robert Mueller has decided not to, and I asked uh, Congressman Chairman Schiff about this, not to pursue further indictments, um, it, does that add up to a lot of time spent that was disappointing on, on, the, on, on the part of these attorneys, these prosecutors who spent all this time trying to find out what was at the bottom of this? I don't view it that way, uh, partly because I think the report will have substantial content, so there's uh, more to see there. I also agree uh, that there are a number of referrals that are already underway. I think some we know because they've become public, but I imagine that there are others that we don't know about because they have not become public. So they have started an investigation and they have concluded what they view to be within the scope of the core of their investigation. Um, and then there are tentacles that are going to continue. So it's not over. John, remind us why uh, Robert Mueller likely did refer a number of these, uh, these uh, pieces of evidence cases to other, uh, uh, other courts, I mean, excuse me, other prosecutors, Southern District of New York, uh, Eastern District of Virginia. You know, it's when uh, Amy and I both worked, and when I was chief of staff to, uh, to, to Bob Mueller, he, he was quite clear on always being humble and constraining his mission to exactly what was assigned. 
and then trusting in others and other parts of the system to get their jobs done. So I think he looked at his, his mandate. He did exactly the most, uh, what he could do as efficiently as possible to get at the heart of what he was asked to do and then trusted and has referred already multiple cases to others to follow up when he saw other potential crimes. How unusual is it, Amy Jeffress, to do that? I mean, to for someone who's prosecuting a case to say, I'm going to stick to this and I'm going to give three or four or five other things to, to other prosecutors. I think it is unusual, and other special counsel have not done that, and uh, as a result, they've been criticized. And so I think he has, uh, first of all, it's his nature to do, as, as John said, to uh, keep focused, but it's also learning from history that some special counsels have gone too far, and I don't think he wanted to do that. Uh, from both of you, what are you going to be looking for when you get your, to the extent we get our hands on, on very much of it, what are you looking for? I think it's very important that at least the congressional oversight committees do get their hands on the vast majority of the facts contained in the report so they can do their mission of making sure we're safe from an adversary that seems determined to meddle and continue meddling in our democracy. And I will be curious to see what the facts are that show the actions of the president where under OLC, Office of Legal Counsel guidance, they might not be able to be prosecuted by the Department of Justice, and then it's up to the other branch, Congress, to decide what the appropriate remedy is. And what about you? What do you look for first? I'm also looking for the evidence that is going to be described in the report that has not yet been made public by way of the indictments and, uh, and charges that we've already seen. And I think that we will see the report in short order. If I were advising Attorney General Barr right now, I don't think it would be good for the Department of Justice to to sit on this report for a lengthy period of time. So I expect that there is some plan underway to take a look at the report and determine what can be made public as quickly as possible. Congress wants it and the public want it, and I think it'll happen soon. Interesting, given the predictions about how much of a fight we, we are likely or potentially may see over what gets made public. Amy Jeffress, John Carlin, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.